back to another video yep today we got the top off um we're trying to avoid some potholes jeez uh it's really hot out here in medford oregon um but we're headed up to mount roxanne just at the top just so we can see the beautiful view up there it's a beautiful gorgeous day today again we got the top off feels amazing although the sun is beating down on me just a little bit but it's not too bad you know i need to tan anyway so got farmer's tan Anyways, run it up the mountain. See you in a second. Now this is one of my favorite areas to go hiking. Ooh, we just ran over just a small little bump. But uh, one of my favorite places to go hiking. It's beautiful. We usually park right here, uh, right at this second gate area, which we're gonna pass through right now. We just pass through it. So I usually park down here. Uh, and then I usually jog up this around the mountain and come back down. It is such a beautiful view out here. Wow, I can't get over it with the top off. It just, what a beautiful day. And I think the entire loop is probably like a mile or two miles. It's nothing crazy. And then there's a access road you can go to the very tip top and it's so cool up there. I'll actually um, attach a, bit, a picture to this video so you guys can see what it looks like from up there because it's gorgeous. Um, but the access road up, it's pretty steep. So if you're not really good at walking on steep hills, uh, you probably don't want to go up it. Now, a big thing when you're coming up here, dodging the potholes is one thing, but then you have bicyclists and, and people walking down this road or jogging and traffic coming the opposite way. So trying to dodge the potholes and avoid the cars and all the pedestrians and everything else, uh, kind of hard. So make sure you're paying attention and not being like me. If you ever come up here and videotape, while you're driving. Stay safe, guys. I don't know why I decided to take my C8 on the dirt part of this path, uh, cause it was clean and we got the top off and now my car is just kicking up all kinds of dirt and I guarantee the outside of my, oh gosh. Oh, I just got some dirt in my mouth, it's disgusting. But yeah, now my car's probably really dirty. But yeah, guys, we're just out going for a little joy ride, enjoying the C8, enjoying the weather took the top off for the first time in a long time. I took it off one time um, and I was actually driving home from work and uh, <laughs> it was kind of noisy on the freeway, kind of that helicopter sound where I go, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> kind of, kind of annoying, but when you're driving at slow speeds, you really can't hear it, which is nice. Uh, oh my God, a pothole. Jeez, so many potholes. Now, the nice thing about driving down the mountain, um, there's actually some spots on the side of the road where you could pull off and that way you can get a better view of the valley. So we're gonna find one of those pull offs real quick so we, guys, so we can show you guys, pardon me, what the valley looks like and why everybody's moving up here. So, aha, we downed one. Oh, and we just ran over a pothole. Yeah. All right, let's get parked and take a look this beautiful view kind of get in the shade a little bit oh, I guess that's gonna work but yeah just such a gorgeous view up here you can see the whole city of Medford granted there's this tree in the way sorry guys um, sorry the view is not too perfect but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous up here not a ton of people for a Sunday, usually it's pretty busy. Um, but yeah, actually, you might be able to see, oops, up there, there's some rocks up there, and that's where you can kind of sit and just relax and get a better view of the valley out here. But I think the best view is honestly right here of the C8 Corvette with my peanut butter interior. Now the funny thing is, is driving around with this car here in Medford, we don't have a whole lot of exotic cars like Ferraris, Lamborghinis. I mean, we have a couple. We've got a Lamborghini Huracan for from Montaigne Orange, um, a couple Ferraris, but nothing like too crazy. And you don't usually see them a whole lot. So when I drive around in this thing, people are constantly staring at me. 
I don't know if they think it's a Ferrari, but then end up realizing it's a C8 Corvette, which granted it's a C8 Corvette, which is really, really sweet, but nonetheless, they think it's absolutely just a crazy car. And constantly when I pull up next to people, they're telling me about the car and how cool it is. And so I'm glad I actually have that because it inspires people, which is good. And you might be wondering why I'm wearing a Captain America shirt. It's because I'm a Captain America fan. Big Marvel fan. Another thing I love doing with the C8 Corvette is when I'm walking up with groceries. Like in this instance, I went to uh, PetSmart and I was putting my dog food in here. I don't know if you can see that, but I was putting my dog food in there and people get really confused and think I'm putting my dog food on my engine because they don't realize the engine's in the back. I love that. I think it's funny throwing people off like that. Oh my gosh, just looking at that glisten in the sun. Oh, so gorgeous. And I know in my videos, I never wear sunglasses. So I'm actually wearing some glasses today because obviously with driving with the, the top off, the sun's just beating down on you and my eyes are pretty sensitive. So if the sun's hitting my eyes, uh, it's, it's not very fun. And uh, they start to get watery and uh, yeah. So sunglasses, keep your eyes safe. I decided to wear them. So anyways, guys, we're gonna hop back in the car. We're gonna head back down the mountain and show you the view going down. And then maybe do some driving around. Just have some fun, enjoy the sun. So here we go. See if we can give it a baby rev real quick. Oh, that sounds pretty good. All right, guys, we're gonna put the seatbelt on. Let's give it a couple more revs and just, just soak in that sound. Let's do it. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. What do you think, guys? Do we put an exhaust on the car or do we just keep it stock? I'm kind of confused. I can go either way. For me, I like the way it sounds, but also part of me is just like, it needs to be a little bit louder. I mean, the nice thing, when you do have it in performance mode or sport mode, it opens up those valves, especially if you have the performance exhaust. Oh my gosh, big pothole right there. And it sounds incredible. So definitely, if you're ordering a Corvette, you're buying a Corvette, get the performance exhaust. You won't regret it, guys. You will love it. Imagine hitting the Z mode and all of a sudden the valves open up and it sounds amazing. And then imagine hitting the Z button and the valves do nothing and it just sounds the same. Yeah, if you do come up here, again, avoid the potholes. Pay attention while you're driving because these potholes are pretty deep. You don't want to screw up your wheel, you know, destroy a tire. It would just be bad. Destroy your suspension. You know, just pay attention to your driving. I mean, pay attention to your driving at all times, not just when you're driving on this road. I've seen some crazy drivers. Now, years ago, and I mean years ago, so many years ago, I think I was like 16 or 17, um, the mountain up here, Mount Roxian, caught on fire, and it was a pretty bad fire, and I guess a transformer um, exploded and then caused a huge, huge wildfire that went all the way back behind the mountain and kept going and it took a while to put it out. That was that was one of the crazier fires here. Also, we had an Almeida fire. Um, burnt a lot of homes and um, my prayers out to the people who lost their homes. Hopefully they're able to recover from it because that was not good at all. That was actually a scary moment. Uh, and the fire actually started right across the street from my work which is pretty crazy. So we watched it start from a little pile of smoke and just absolutely spreaded through three or four towns. Went from Ashland, Talent, Phoenix to Medford. So, and at nighttime, literally looked like hell. Now, one of the reasons other than going up to Mount Roxanne, I love driving up here. These houses are absolutely gorgeous, but I wanna show you guys my dream home that I would absolutely love to own one day. It's actually one I've been looking at since I was like, 
I don't even know, like eight, no, not 18, maybe like 21 years old. Um, I absolutely love it. It's actually right here on the corner. We'll drive right in front of it. Hopefully people don't think I'm weird just videotaping their house, but uh, it's that one right here. I'll see if we can get down to it. Yep, that's it right there. I love this house. That is my favorite house ever. It is so gorgeous. One day, someday, we're gonna own that house. We're gonna make it come a reality. So we gotta get to a million subscribers somehow. So we gotta get some good content here in the future. We're gonna mod this car out. on a good mic please put it down in the comments let me know so that way we get some good quality for you guys because we're going to be doing a lot more videos just a little update for you guys we now have 11,061 miles on it oh my gosh guys we are just cram packing the miles on this car but it's my daily i can't help it I thought about getting another cheapy little car just to drive around so I'm not putting as many miles in the car, but you know what? What's the point of having a nice car like this if you just keep it in the garage and you never drive it? There's no point. It's such a waste of money. Oh. And another cheap little car is not going to sound like this Corvette. This sounds amazing. And it puts a smile on my face every single time I get on it. And not just when I get on it. It puts a smile on my face even when I'm walking up to it. So, this thing's gorgeous. I love the way it looks. It sounds incredible. And it's just so much fun to drive. So, um, definitely going to be keeping this car. I don't think we're going to be getting rid of it for anything else. So, we're going to mod it. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you would like to see me mod this car. Whether that's, you know, putting some carbon fiber parts on it. Uh, lowering it, anything like that. Obviously, we've got the front end lifts. I probably don't need a hydraulic system of any sort. Um, but let me know down in the comments. What do you guys want to see? And then we'll we'll pick and choose what we want to customize the Corvette with, and we'll make some content on it. So make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos with the Corvette. So I can't help it, guys. We're gonna do one more poll just to hear how this Corvette sounds, because I absolutely love it. Sounds amazing. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace. Guys, we just made it home. I'm trying to put the top on, I'm trying to do it by myself. This is kind of, kind of hard. Um, but yeah, anyways, it snaps in here, just in case you guys were wondering where you put the roof. Just snaps on in those clips right there. But it is kind of a pain in the ass to put on by yourself. I am having a heck of a time putting it back on. <laughs> I guess I should probably do this more often and take it off so I actually know how to do this because oh my gosh it can't be that easy oh my gosh I just figured it out you just give it a little bit elbow grease and push it down so all right guys I'm glad I made myself look stupid um yeah that's the end of the video peace <laughs>